Yo, Elliot, how can I work on increasing my reading speed and effectiveness? I'm becoming much more of an avid reader, especially since beginning the program, and genuinely look forward to it at the end of my workday and even my weekends. I have many of the books you recommended and just recently got Degenerate Moderns by E. Michael Jones, and I can't wait to start it. I want to become a much more regimented with my reading habits. To do so, progress must continually be made. I find I am a slow reader because I want to make sure I absorb and retain the information rather than going through the motions of just scanning pages. I have a large library that I need to crush. What are some advices that you have regarding reading more efficiently, effectively? Um, I'm going to refer you to a program by Brian Tracy called Accelerated Learning Techniques. And I think you can listen to it for free on YouTube now. Accelerated Learning Techniques by Brian Tracy. Man, he teaches you how to read in that book from so many different angles, right? He even tells you how to read a book. Like you wouldn't know, you would think most people know how to read a book, right? But he says, don't read a book by opening. He says, most people read books wrong. He says, they open the book and then they start at chapter one and then move through the book, right? They open the book, chapter one, right? He says, don't read books that way. He gives you a formula for how to read books most effectively, right? And if I can remember some of it, he says, first, the first thing you need to know about a book is whether or not it's worth reading. And that's huge because I got so many books that aren't even worth reading, right? Like I'm like, why am I going to read this, right? I bought it at a time because I thought I, I wanted to or somebody recommended it. But then when I look at it and I'm like, do I really need to read this? So he says the first thing you got to do is be dis discerning about whether or not you need to read a book or not. You got to ask yourself, why? Why am I reading this book? That's the first thing he says. He says, number two, read the back of the book. Read the jacket inside the book. Read all of the entire table of contents. After reading the table of contents, begin with the chapter that most piques your interest. Isn't that crazy? He says, don't start at the beginning. Start at the chapter that most piques your interest. He says, because sometimes an entire book could be worthless to you except for one chapter. He says, it could even be one page. You can read, and have you ever done that? I know I've done that, read a whole book. And like the whole book was like, blah, 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 blah. Boom. And I'm like, whoa. This is what I was looking for. Remember what I told you in lesson two to read like a Golconda? Remember in lesson two for the King Transformation Program, uh, Thou Shalt Read, I told you about the different types of readers. And uh, we, we studied Ralph Waldo Emerson and how he talked about some people are sponges. What is the sponge? Sponge is a person that absorbs everything. But what's the problem with the sponge? Sponges absorb even garbage. So the sponge is not is a good absorber, but it's not a good discerner, right? And we're talking about discernment, right? Should I read this book or not? He says, so you got the sponge. What is the other one? The sponge, which is like the, the full absorber. Um, I don't remember the other ones, but you guys remember it because it's in the lesson. And then he says, you want to read like a Golconda. And a Golconda, apparently, I think, is... When they would go look for gold, right, they would take this, like, big round, like, thing with a screen on it, and it would sift through. They would, they would sift all the sand, and the, the, the water would come out, and then you would just see little glitters. So that's how you find the gold. you got to sift through. You sift through stuff, and then you just pull out the gold nuggets. And with you and your reading, of course, as a gold conda, it's not legitimate gold, but they're like gold gems. They're like gems when you're reading. And Brian Tracy teaches you how to use a highlighter when you read. He says, when you find those gold pieces, you got to highlight them. He says, write in the margins. He says, tear out pages and put them in uh, folders, right? It's like this whole stuff I've never heard of about how to study and learn books, right? And he says, and once again, he makes his point. He says, the best way to get through books is not to get through books. Because there are certain that you don't need to read everything in the book. It says you want to be an effective reader, you read just what you need to read. You gotta find it. Sift through like a Golconda. Sift through the books. Sift through. Go through. He says, skip pages until you find what it is that you want. But I know a lot of us read nonfiction books like they're fiction, like it's a story, right? Like you're reading Lord of the Rings, but really you're just trying to learn how to can vegetables. It's like, hey, right, you don't read the read a history of canning. You go to the page that says step one, step two, step three, right? That's what I did when I got books. 
I got like four or five books on how to how to can food. And I'm like, really, all I needed was one page. And you know what I did? I took a picture of that one page, and every time I need a can, I pull it out on my phone. I'm like, oh, here it is. I got the whole, I got a whole library over there. I don't need them all. So when it comes to reading most effectively, these are going to happen. These are these are good techniques. The next thing I would encourage you to do, and he encourages you to do it in in the in the book is to take a speed reading course he says he says take a speed reading course so that means learn how to speed read but don't try to do it on your own he says yeah, and i get i bet you can find online courses today you know speed reading just figure out how to speed read he says the most powerful thing he ever did was to invest in a speed reading course so i think that might be helpful to you uh, hope that helps you. Yeah. Hope that helps, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where, among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.